everybody and welcome back. Today I wanted to take a look at a game that I was always very interested in, but passed up in the past for multiple reasons. This genre should be the holy grail of VR games. And what I'm talking about is Orbis VR Reborn. That's right, the game is now out of early access, has the Reborn title on it, a little bit more expensive at $40, and it's the first true MMO in VR. Before I jump into that guys, I've been considering doing some Let's Plays on the channel, specifically the Exorcist VR. I told myself I'd never play a horror VR game, but for you guys I'll do it. Got a heart rate monitor and everything. If you're interested, leave a comment below. Now, I've actually been playing MMOs for 28 years. That number is actually correct. I used to play an MMO on AOL, which was called Neverwinter. It was the first or closest thing you could actually consider to an MMO. But you can argue if that's actually an MMO or not. People would probably say the first real MMO was Ultima Online, another game I played that was a technical nightmare at one point in time but then turned into something amazing and i also spent a really long time playing the first ever 3d mmo everquest some of you might have no idea what games i'm talking about if you haven't figured it out i am old but yeah uh, i've been playing mmos since i was tiny and certain aspects of them have always disappointed me and 30 minutes into this game i'm right in that exact same spot I don't have a lot of time to mess around, so you might be saying, well, MMOs in general just aren't for me. But if there's something I'm really interested in, I will find the time, I will make the time, and I will put in the work. Now, the last MMO that I really got into and played for a couple years was Star Wars The Old Republic. And I had multiple max level characters and a guild, and I found that game rewarding and fun, but one of the things that kept me locked into it was the fact that it had a cool storyline for each different character. It was just enough to get around the hurdles of MMOs that traditionally are a huge turnoff to me. And that turnoff is boring monotonous combat. If it's something you're going to be doing for 10, 20, 100 hours, or in the case of many other MMOs, a lot longer than that, it can't be miserably boring. And after about five minutes into Orbis, I felt like I was playing EverQuest all over again. In terms of a technology standpoint, that's what level this game seems like it's at. There were significant issues with tracking of enemies, where they would just sort of disappear and reappear across the map. The animations are extremely bland, and you don't actually feel like you're in combat. This is a stark contrast to what makes VR games amazing. The mechanics and physics that you've come to know and love, like picking up a sword, swinging around like a crazy person, stabbing creatures, are not really there. You're just blindly swinging, or in my case, shooting a musket. And at one point, I just took a seat and just kept firing my musket because I was bored. Now, I will admit, some people will love this game. They will be able to get into it. I'm just saying this game is not for me personally. I need that fun combat. Now, the game was extremely populated. But this is day one of the rebirth, so I don't know how many people are going to stick around. But I did see a lot of high-level individuals. And I know this game has a lot more to offer based on other articles I've read and other previews I've watched. Unfortunately, I can't get myself to get further into the game. I would much rather play a multiplayer Carnage Chronicles or Vanishing Realm if it had the option. To me, that combat is more fun and exciting. The environments and graphics offer a lot more and I'm immediately entertained. Completely putting the graphics aside, I'd rather go load up Rec Room and play the adventures in Rec Room, which have no RNG, no stats, no true MMO features. It's just more fun to play. Now, if you're a true VR and MMO junkie, this might be the game for you. My relationship with MMOs has been really strange. They're more of an addiction than actual fun for me, and I get burnt out really quick on them. And while I think I've tried almost every MMO out there, at least for brief periods, very few did I actually enjoy. So this isn't a beat on Orbis video. This is a, it's not for you if you're like me type of video. If you're looking for some fun combat, some type of instant hook to pull you in, like cinematics or amazing graphics, or something with a bit more instant gratification, then it's not for you. I would pass, guys. This is just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.